Hey, this is Joe. Today, I'm going to do a follow-up review on my main tripod. It's an Ulta Pro 263AT. I realize this is not a food review. I did this review about six months ago before I pretty much went solid food reviews on this channel and there's still a lot of people looking at this video so I thought I would go ahead and post another video after six months so I can go over some of the things that I do like about it and some of the things that I don't. Make no mistake this is my main tripod. Actually it's the only one I have left that's not broken and that still works. I'm not displeased with this thing, but there are some things that I'd like to go over that I don't like about it. See this little button here? I find this thing annoying. When sliding this shaft out to keep it from flying out, you push this button in and pull it out. I think they need another mechanism for that. It just seems kind of cheesy. The second thing that I don't like about it is the tripod legs themselves. When I'm moving this around, taking different positions, the tripod legs will sometimes move in a little bit and make the thing off balance. And there goes my camera on the floor. Maybe none of them are gonna be any better than that, but it annoys me. Probably the most annoying thing that I've found about this is the documentation. When I had the documentation before I inadvertently threw it away, it really didn't tell me a lot about how to operate it and some of the features that I've discovered over the last six months. I threw it away thinking I could go up to their website download the PDF anytime I wanted to and read the instructions again. Au contraire. These guys don't have that anywhere that I can find. I looked for hours. Maybe you know where it's at. Maybe you have a link. If you do, put it in the comments below. Help a brother out. Those are probably the three most annoying things about the tripod. One thing that I found that I do like about it is the clamps on the legs. It gives you Quick adjustment, you're done. Then there's the feature of being able to take the main shaft and the head, pull it out, and set it at a 90 degree angle so it'll hang over your work. Let me show you how this is done. Unclip this, you pull it out, you push the little brass hated button that I hate to get it out. Bring your, your hinge up, push your little brass clip in that I don't like. See, I don't like struggling with this thing. I don't know why it does that you think they'd have done something a little bit better. All right, tighten that down, pull that clamp down, and now you have 90 degrees where you can hang it over your work. I find this particularly useful when working on the hood of a car. Another thing I like is the smooth action for panning shot. There was one thing that I never found in the documents anywhere was to adjust the tension for this action. What you do is you loosen your clamp, you turn this knob, to the one way, you tighten it and there's no resistance. You loosen your clamp again and turn it the other way. You have more resistance when you pan left and right. That little feature is nowhere in the documentation and I was literally six months figuring it out. Another feature that I have not used is being able to take the head and the shaft out and put it upside down so you can hang your camera upside down almost at ground level. This feature I haven't tried yet, haven't had a really a good reason to use it. In conclusion, I really like my tripod. It is my main tripod. Uh, I'm in the market for a second tripod and that's what got me thinking about about it because do I want to get another one exactly like it or do I want to shop around for something with a little more features. If you have any suggestions on a better tripod, leave it in the comments for me. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Subscribe if you like food reviews. Let me know if you want to see more product reviews. We will see you in the next video. See, I don't like struggling with this thing. I don't know why it does that. You think they'd have done something a little bit better.